Welcome, speed gaming fans, to the Final Fantasy Randomizer Speed Gaming 2024 Tournament. My name is Stevie Knock. With me in the booth today is Ozlato with our tracker Mecklin. Ozlato, what are we looking at with these parties and blursings? Well, well, we see we have a, a pretty good initial setup here. You got a ninja, you got a master, you got a white wizard and a black wizard. That's... That's really good to start, but let's see what we got here. So that ninja is going to come with the slab and plus 20 strength. The black belt has the rod and the wood of, uh, armor evade set. Meanwhile, our white mage starts with a key, big, tell magic, even bigger. And the black mage starts with the ruby and the shirt, and equip shirt, which, eh, not that I mean, he can do it anyway. So kind of a womp womp there, but okay. Honestly, just knowing they've got access to telemagic, plus the blur sinks. I mean, the wood armor, as you said, kind of a womp, but yeah. uh, it, it, it's, it's something on top of already having that plus four M def, not having to promote to pick up mm -hmm. a black belt later. You can find your grind sooner and take it sooner, and not worry about the uh, lack of the supreme M def. Absolutely, but you know, no, I mean. You could stack the wood armor on it on the early game just to make sure he's, that you're not going to end up with a dead master on your hands. But wood armor is one of those things. It can sometimes be a really nasty trap. Now, one not thing. shown is the fighter with the oxy ale and plus 15 agility and a red mage with the loot and warp. So keep an eye out for that red mage. I know our runners definitely will be. Yeah, that is end game access and dungeon access in the form of two party members you can swap out. And you can see right there in Iker's Ninja is currently named Neradwa, which usually <laughs> means they plan to ditch it for the Red Mage and go and blow Master Rainbow. Uh, I don't blame that mm -hmm. choice. If the Ninja doesn't turn out to be exemplary with its plus strength when you're already wielding a Master. Yeah. Now that, that could change, though, if you find a really nice Katana. Or, as Cut. you would say, a Vorpal. Well, I mean, you always keep a Vorpal. It's nothing wrong with that. I've seen many a runner in this uh, in, so far grabbing a Vorpal and running with it, and I love to see it every time. It is useful until you reach Sky, at which point it applies Lawn Dart crit stats. <laughs> I will always envision there's just a pile of, store of swords sticking straight into the desert underneath the Sky Palace, with a few impale heads of T-Rexes, just people dropping the swords, and the Vorpal gives you the extra crit chance, so it's the best lawn dart. By many, do you mean none? <sighs> exactly. You keep the Vorpal. The Vorpal is, the Vorpal is great. Don't I mean, be surprised. The rusty ones rolled down. They're the ones that miss. The ones that are gleaming <laughs> in the shun perfect precision, like plus two, plus five, those, those hit every time. I mean, a plus. I mean, listen, if I'm rolling in with a plus five Vorpal, I'm going with a plus five Vorpal. Now, that, to be fair, Vorpal does benefit a lot from having fast, but you get a black wizard. I mean, as long as you don't dump it, you're getting fast. Yeah, and if you put it on a ninja who gets more hits than anyone short of the black belt or the black belt or master, you get mm. those crit shots. Absolutely. Pickles, you haven't found a Vorpal yet. The question is, are you looking for it? Or are you just hoping it kind of falls from the sky, as Davian says? I mean, if it falls from the sky, you're hoping it's rolled down because you're going to get hit otherwise. <laughs> Those that don't know the D&D origin lore of the Vorpal, it literally can only crit. It, it only goes for the head. If it goes anywhere else, it does not do anything. Team team Vorpal sometimes. I mean, look, I mean, I, I the Vorpal has saved me on a number of runs. I have been betrayed by Amasa at least once, and I will not forget that, so... I'm a little biased, I will fully admit this. You are still trapped in tow for doing, what was it, 16 damage? 26 damage on, uh, 6 hits for 26 damage, or 29 damage. Yeah, we're, we're The paradox. The paradox. And we are off! Jay Shidel taking a quick run in. Let's see what we got for magic. White. Uh, harm 3, not bad. Barry has, uh, the fairy has the chime, and we have level 1 fast. Oh my. And fire too, so that's a sweeper for both casters and mm. fast that can be play or used by the black mage and the ninja once the ninja starts getting levels. I mean, that's you. 
I mean, the red mage can learn fast too. So ditching the red mage and still having the fast cast can make it work. Let's see. Nope. J Shade Island's not checking when is not checking weapons. Weapons neither is Iker. They have nope. sweepers. They're just gonna go with that. Yep. I, I I don't disagree with that at all. It's at this point you really don't. Uh, yeah, you really don't need that. And welcome to the raid from ELTTP Restreams. You're joining us right as we're getting started with this lower racket match between Jay Shadell and Iker. Both runners going straight into Garland. Swing, swing, cast, cast. Punch comes out, 35. Ooh. Crack. Ooh. Um, with <laughs> Chaos. Two on one side, crack on the other. This uh, Garland is very chaotic. Garland taking a, pa taking a page from the Chaos book there. Now, we should note that, remember, you do start at level 10, so that's pretty good. So, ship from the king. Okay, so we're we're fully on board now. Ship and canal early. Yeah, like and they've got that. the key, so they can check key locked. And with the ruby in hand, they could already go to Sarda to pick that up. They've got access to the sages and crescent. This is uh, pretty wide open already. It's plenty mm -hmm. of options. Let's see what diversions we get. Let's see. We got some money, some money, some money. I do like how the runners went to opposite sides and met in the middle. Oh, Womp Womp for the Ruby. You already got it. Oh, well, that's one Womp. Uh, anyone who hasn't seen these flags before, these runners, each character class comes with an item, but that item is not in, or is out, or is considered out of logic, meaning they will still be able to find the item in the world that they don't have or one that they already have. It is a Womp if they find one they already have. Yep, and we see houses at 788. That's really good deal on houses. They're just a little bit more expensive than softs. You know, that's pretty sweet to see when you've got two casters, your primary initial damage dealers, and Iker going straight to provoke. Yep, I, that and Jay Shidel very much coming right behind. Unfortunately, they're both encountering these Sahag packs. So far, nothing nasty. Oh, and we have the shuffle on for all your shops. Yep. Items. We got the item and the armor on the right side. We've got the mag white magic at the top where the end should be, and the ends in the down <laughs> left. But uh, heal three, heal three, not horrible. Uh, Odoron, yes, they both have the rod from the black belt. So, yep, they could actually go dive lich as well. So, I harm three, putting in some work from the white mage. White mage harm all. Great flag to see. Makes them very more, very, very much useful. And TNT. Okay. Turn in. That's a quick. Yep, yeah, it's a quick turn in. They don't have the canoe, so they can't use the river dock, but I mean, they can walk that way, they can go marsh, come back up, maybe they pick up the crown at some point and just deal with as much of the inner sea as they can before they leave. Yes, indeed. So heal three. I, I get mute, but I'm weird like that. Black magic. Brack. Gotta get your brack. Bottle is in marsh. Well, that means the chime is effectively in marsh and uh, floater locked, because the bottle turns into the chime. Correct. Hey, there's that wood armor minus one if you want to stack on the wood of eight <laughs> on the master until it actually has some levels. Ah, I wood art wood the wood of eight set is one of those things that's really good in certain circumstances. This is probably not one of them. It's funny and I want to see it. I but mean, Iker out of Provoca, not going to bother with uh, Matoya Mako. Yep, going dwarves first. I, I, I kind of like it. Yep. And well, Jay Shidel gets the same pack that Iker does, plus one in Odd Eye. Now, where's Jay going? Iker going out to the oceans, evidently not going to Dwarves. So, Jay is going to go to Dwarves. Dwarves on one side, and um, Melman check on the other. And we, we do see have Melman. slab, so we can translate it. Yep, and Melman has been rebuilt, so it's all pretty pretty. And there's a white mage hanging out there, so not interested. Jay, Jay Shadell taunting him. <laughs> Say hello to the Harry Dwarf. Jay, now, he's got the key, so he could definitely be uh, coming down here to... Oh, Womp Womp Slab. But you can check the uh, check the Dwarf Armory, see if there's anything decent. So, I saw a yep. hint. That's your yep. Vorpal and an Ice Sword. There's a Vorpal. And, and a, a katana. katana. That basically makes the Vorpal worthless. And a well, black, oh wow! This early wow. key and that check in dwarves law or dwarves Huge. armory is massive value. That is big. So that that pretty much changes uh, nothing as of now. But that vorpal on that ninja is or sorry that katana on that ninja is going to be huge. 
Ike here, meanwhile, is going for Sarda. Now, remember, he cannot recruit the character in Sarda until the vampire has been defeated. So, over on in chat, <laughs> mentioning the uh, what I saw, the hint was Crystal and Melman. You think, wait, Mike, how can the Crystal be a Melman? Since Melman didn't didn't get attacked by the vampire, Melman still has a shop. And there's Ooh. the floater. Wow. But that is going to cause some major route divergence between everybody. That, that's Jay, very true. Jay Shidel has still not gone that way. He is in Elfland selling uh, useless gear. And we see that Elfling got hit by the vampire, so no item store, no clinic. Oh, Can huge. Ooh. That's Canoe and Earth. Earth. If Iker, well, Stinger on the Gerwolves, that's hilarious, but uh, temper out here for magic. But if Iker goes Earth now in proximity, that's Big. the Canoe and the Floater. Yeah, he, is, he will be in the air en route. This will be a massive advantage. Now, I will note that uh, both the Master and the Ninja are taking a nap right now, and I'm not sure what happened to them. Well, Melmond is has a clinic because of the vampire attacking Elfland, and well, life 2 and life at Ooh. level 3. That's annoying to see both there, but at least that's early learnable life. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna go and probably res his party up. Saber at level three for that ninja. Not bad to have. Not bad to have that. Yeah, especially since the power bonk is out of logic. And he there's the hint. There it is. And there's 15, the crystal. Oof. Jerry Shidel back on the sea. Is he going for Melman? Yes, he is. Yeah, he's going right to Titans. Iker, meanwhile, is going away from Earth. Iker is going to see that hint in Elfland and go, well, I'm going back. Yep. Meanwhile, Jay is going to find the floor and he's like, I know what's in Earth. Mm-hmm. You know, Iker going to Crescent, it looks like. Went all the way past Elfland. Yeah, the docks are on, so he doesn't need the canoe. He's going right for it. He's you in know, the that... air. Yeah, the, the Luffy, the Luffy docks... dock. The Luffy dock is on, so we are ready to get in the air. So we're going to be... At this rate, mm, probably about mm, 8.30, getting into the air, so that's massive. I, I forgot about the Luffy dock. I pulled a Luffy, but I'm not running it, so... And Iker at 8.09 is in the air. This is... This is a very quick seed coming. Uh, the jet seed seems jetty. It does indeed. Now... Hopefully, Jay Shidel remembers that the Luffy Dock is on and can I, and will take a floater and run. If Jay does not remember the Luffy Dock is on, then we will see an Earth Dive because Jay knows the canoe's there. Correct. Yeah, and I wouldn't floater. blame him. You're no, right no, not at all. Proximity. Okay, so let's see where Jay goes off to. Meanwhile, Ike here seeing Exit Wall. Very good spells at White 4. Now knows the canoe's in Earth. Probably it's, not overly interested in it currently, but will eventually. It is technically necessary. It is. If they're in the floater and they want to go anywhere that can't be gotten to without the canoe. Yep. Okay, so we're, it looks like Iker's going to dive Marsh. That and is get, the chime. And get bat blocked. Yep. Get bat blocked. Jay skipping on Earth, going straight to the ship, remembers the loopy dock. Very important. Having early access to telemagic is just a That's, godsend. It's huge. It is a huge thing. It makes the routing, your routing completely changes with that on. Like, that means ice is fast. That means that any dungeon like marsh is fast. Waterfall is easier. Sleep touch on the undead pack hmm, there in, how in fun. Marsh. That's fun. Nothing too crazy has been said. We saw some stinger gerwolves and crack on Garland. So Jay's about two minutes behind from when he picked up his floater and goes immediately to Crescent. Doesn't have a lot of money, though. So this could be one of those seeds where money is important. There's Quake, Bane, Rub... A lot of insta-death, but not, not 
Not anything you necessarily do need. All right, let's see how long it takes. Oh, he found it right away. Still wants Mas the hint. Yeah, I don't blame him for the hint. Womp hint on the ruby. Meanwhile, metal slimes Ooh. on the incentive tile guarding the bottle. That's a nice chunk of experience. That's good experience, good money. That's a lot of good stuff. But right now, probably not interested. If he's got the money for the crystal at this point, he could take a quick jaunt and go there. In fact, ooh. No, okay, okay. He's no. He was thinking, like he was thinking about it. Jay is going for Marsh as well. Sands the money for the crystal, just to take the save there, and yep, yep. he's gonna go straight in. Might check the Titan's tunnel. Yep. Yep. Or yep, he's going right to the Hollows. I should say. Ah, uh, Frost Wolves. No, nope, no, thank you. And uh, the red D's not bad, depending on how it rolls. True. We saw it be a very or valid grind tile. Mm -hmm. I believe the J Shadows race yesterday. Ooh, oh, a straight that... damage poison on the Gerwolves. Is wait, I rolled this, not you. What's going on? I was gonna say, do I have to? Do I, we have to talk about copyright here, my friend, because damage poison in wolves is is more of a wolf pack thing where I make a lot of wolves that are really bad. So that far, we've seen damage poison on the werewolves. The gerwolves have stinger. We didn't see what the frost wolves had, and the wolves came in a pack with the gerwolves, so... Hmm. Well, it's good to see it early, at least, so you know it's not going to pop up a little bit later. Thank you, meanwhile, not really checking a lot of things at this point. Probably is pretty happy. Unless oh, it's the Medusa script, that is correct, Odoron. No one wants to see that. Ooh, loose ribbon for Ikir in Ashers. And there's Day with the damage poison again. Sorry, Jay. Not me this time. Ikir making it through to check the Earth tile is the Earth tile. Well, that's anticlimactic. <laughs> Isn't it the Obe Pro Ring? That is actually good to see. I, I would be happy to see that. That white wizard's now pretty, pretty, pretty defended. All right, Jay, let's see if you can make it past it this time. Oh, okay, he got first strike, and we see a vampire on Ike, your side. I don't expect this to be here long. Especially when you have holy magic and fire magic to unleash. Wow. Oh, dear. The ninja doesn't have a weapon. Sli and those with crack. <laughs> they have nice, crack. that's two crack instances. Oh dear. Just 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 leave. Just run. You know, normally you'd expect them to be hot because they're liquid metal, but no, I guess they just crack her back. But that white mage has the tele magic, so you can still exit out and keep that bottle. That is well, yep, that is good, because that was close. And life too to bring everybody back up. But yeah, okay, so metal slimes, IQ doesn't know, not a good grind. <laughs> No, Iker still hasn't been to dwarves and gotten all those absurd weapons that Jay's got, so... Yep. All dwarves or the Circle of Sages. Indeed. Jay's gonna check Frost Wolves. I mean... Do they have him. something? We didn't get a chance to see. And the Red D. Will he take it? Nah. Iker, meanwhile, checking Glitch's Closet, seeing if there's anything worthwhile there. Probably not gonna see. Well, that's the Earth Army. Lich's Closet with the three pack in the bottom left. Yep. But uh, we're not, probably not gonna check there. That's a little out of the way. No, I, I don't. Oh, Lit or Ogres with Lit too. That's cute. Earth is, uh, Earth is not. Earth is very unpleasant. You know, I, I gotta think that's the case. Marsh was not that fun, but they got in and out eventually, and Earth is a bit more of a run. Now, With does a Jay more variety of encounters? <laughs> it's true. Does Jay? Oh, Jay skips over Ashers. That's gonna be a ribbon that he's not gonna find. And that's a loose ribbon, and it would help with these werewolves because damage poison would be resisted by the ribbon. Indeed, we do. Is gonna get the pro ring behind the earth as Iker pulls up to Lich. Our first beam fight at 1509. Ooh. Sadly, we don't have that cake. But we do have Punch for 48. Harm 3 comes out 234 and basically a high roll. 
for that. Fire 2 does some chip damage. Oh, Ooh. wait, no, 158. Burning That's... the undead. Amazingly, it's effective. That's Arm actually three. really good. Really good Fire 2 roll. And we're done. 47, job done. We are done. I always found it funny that liches tend to have fire damage in D&D, &D, and yet uh, undead are usually affected by flame. It's strange. There's the canoe for Jay. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to dwarves. Or check the armory as well. This could be a katana vorpal acquisition. Uh, Ikir doesn't have the katana pickles. He never came here to grab it the first time. Yep. So, that was the difference, is that Jay has it, and probably will be skipping over all the chests. Oh, oh. and he warp. Oh, he resets out! Oh, no! The and pain. And Jay, meanwhile, finding those damage poison... Oh, those damage poison werewolves have taken out all of his casters. It's alright, focus in. The Vorpal... The Katana... And the Katana have been missed. The Masa will be found, but it's a Masa minus two. It's two. Yeah, it's not a great Masa. Alright, Jay. A little quick, more steps. Alright, he made it out without... Uh, yeah, that that's a good point. Ikir getting the ribbon versus Jay getting the katana. Ikir got the probably got the better deal right now. There is one other katana out there, we just don't know where it is. And there are other potentially high damaging weapons that can be found. Sure. There's the crystal purchased out of Melman. And Which it's the Womp Womp Rod. Oh my. Well then. Hey, it's a wood hat. That's not good. At this point. Uh, we're going to see our chime, and we're going to see a check on the fame, because I, I can't imagine he's going to go anywhere other than... Well, he could go Volcano. Could go Volcano, could go Waterfall, could go Ordeals. But Volcano uh, and Ice are the proximity play here. Meanwhile, Lich being fought with a ninja and a black <laughs> belt. A ninja with a katana doing dirty things to the Ooh. undead. And instant Masa. No, you don't want the, Normally you don't want... you'd use bludgeoning instruments against the undead, but uh, when it's that sharp, it can dice up the bone. Sure can. Alright, Jay gonna res his party back up, check magic. And uh, X for I would buy, but other than that, nothing. And Ikear will go to Volcano, Quad X you definitely want. Wrong! Parking spot for Ikear. Top right, you want bottom, bottom left. Yep, yep. Oh, but Jay doesn't have enough for the crystal. But, to be fair, he doesn't need it. He doesn't know he doesn't need it, but he doesn't have enough for it. Yeah, but what it does have is the bottle and the slab translated, so he can, or translating the slab now, he can go and get those two items, the chime and whatever the slab turns into, which could be the cube, which could proximity sky. That'd be fun. Or it could That'd be, be nice. oxy ale. I'd love an early sky play. Haven't seen early sky in a while. Meanwhile, Ikear is going to loot out the volcano armory. Now, based on the direction he's going... Nope. This looks like... ice. He's gonna take an icebox play. I'm... Loving yeah. the divergence. No, nope. nope, he's changed his mind. And again, he's, he's not parking right, but that's okay. Now, the question is, does he check anything or does he just rush it? I would rush to the incentive item. Hmm. Checking but the trap. I'm not in the tournament. He's checking the spike tile, finds the mummy pack. Not great. Okay, nope, he's not gonna bother. He is just... He's beelining it for carry. Yeah, he can is, also... The, uh, the one th nice thing about armory, or, fi or volcano is the center armory tile is the first room in Agama floor, so mm -hmm. he can check the tile there, and he can also check the Agama tile going to the Red D chest, which is the Red D tile, so most of the tiles that you can check for grinds are very much on the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And Volcano being the quickest fiend dungeon, you can literally be in another here in less than two minutes at the on a good run. That was an ice sword plus two that Iker might be able to pick up. Yeah, because that's that would be the best thing that he that I cured found. Assuming he makes the stop for the freebie chest. So if that's the only chest that Jay has checked. Oh, he will check. Nope. No, nope, we don't that want images. No. Nope. That's stone. No. Nope. No. Nope. 
I hope you have, I hope you have softs. Oh, he's only got two. I thought oh. you were gonna say, I hope you're happy with yourself, but uh, well, I, yes, I am. Oh, I, I assumed that, sir. And the problem is, you're gonna hit them again right here. And you and better get the white get... mage is the one that has tele magic. Yep. Oh dear. Wizards was slow. That's just annoying. Okay, you know what? That's Jay will be happy about that. I put it I on somebody prevent... right away. Yeah, help prevent one of your party members to not get stoned. And Iker gets first strikes. So he gets away from that. A random red div walks in. That looks to be a little dodgy. As they want to be. They are indeed. There we go. Okay, so now it comes down to... Yeah, Iker's avoiding all the bad scripts. Oh, and Jay gets away. That does not bode well for an ice dive, though. So we're gonna do some quick Sam's healing. White Mage, heal up and go for the carry kill. Does Iker follow Jay into this fight? Because we don't have, like, ice or defense or roost stick or... Well, anything. Ooh! That master just bit it bad. It's getting bodied. Okay, ink is good. We want free turns. Trying to get that fast off. Swing it. Yeah, Ice 3 is your best bet. This carry's got Ooh. a lot of absorb and poison touch. Oh, the 45 damage from the ice takes out carry. J. Shidel, second orb lit. And thankfully has pure, so we don't have to listen to the screeching noise. Invis 2 coming out on the White Mage for Iker. Punch 83. Swing Punch Invis 2 going with fast strats for both the Ninja and the Black Mage. The Masa doing good job and the Blizzard Ooh. not doing a lot of damage. Those two ribbons working really good for Iker. Jay was lucky he did not see that. Fasted Black Belt. Oh dear. And there's no softs for sale. Well, he's got the airship, he can go where he needs to to get it. Meanwhile, Iker, Masa cuts apart, doesn't need the Excal, he's got a Masa, gets the second orb lit, so both runners with two orbs lit. 20, 23 a minutes in, it's fast. tight race. And Iker Indeed. doesn't have to do anything, he's got a house, he can go straight into ice. Meanwhile, Jay, looks like... Jay is going for hunting for trap tiles. Yeah, he's looking for a grind. This is a safe spot to do it, though. Northwest Castle, good spot to look for it. That ain't Long it. Nope. Any soft potions? That isn't it either. I like grinding waters in the, like, most <laughs> emergency situation ever, possibly never know, and that image party is something that Iker wants to run away from, but doesn't know that he needs to run away from it. Yeah. Uh, Jay is going back to the Hall of Giants, because put these Frost Wolves and Red D's happy. He, he fought the Red D, and it was a baity, but it wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't too bad. I don't, I don't hate the play. Especially with one with a white mage that's stoned, which is good to start. Ike, you're meanwhile warping out, doing the warp trick. There's the cube! That, that is, is Sky, Sky Axis. Axis. We got the bottle turns push. into the chime, and that uh, routes Iker straight to or straight south, turn in the bottle, check mm -hmm. what's in, in Lafayne. Stopping for some supplies? Yeah, we're stopping for supplies. Which is not a good spot to stop for anything, because it's all burned to the ground. Yeah, there's no item shop here. Looking for magic, it seems. Yep. Looking for more uh, temper. Which... You got the money for it, you want to have it. You have the money now, you can go. Alright, looks like Jay is going gonna, is gonna to set up. Moss on the black belt. Just showing swords on the or to the red dragon, hoping it'll monster everything else. Well, so far it's not doing a bad job. It hit the black wizard for a big chunk of damage. 165 but isn't a whole lot of damage no. to this red dragon. It's still gonna take one or two hits to get the job done. There's your chime. The guy is calling. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, no, we're gonna check. We're gonna go to the Fane first. I like that. It's a good idea. 
makes sense. Not only do you have, yep, you've got the item to pick up here. It could be the defense sword, or the yep. oxio would be pretty much go mode. We just need to find mm -hmm. loot, obviously. That could be behind a red mage. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things you can find here. And, of course, the superstore. You've got gold. You can find the magic you want. And there's the down ninja. There's the black belt solo grind enabled. That, uh, that stoned white mage... If he's got a soft in his inventory, which he doesn't, could have been no, brought he back up to tell him teleport himself out of the tunnel, though. So adamant coming out of the turn and from the slab. You don't need a fighter. As nice as the fighter would be, it comes with plus fifteen agility and an oxiale, so that's True. access to the last dungeon. But I mean, that adamant could be your oxiale, and then it would just be a waste. True. You don't. I really... would rather have the ninja. Yeah, at this point you have a good katana, you have good weapon, no, you keep it. And my concern is on Jay's side is that these dragons are hitting rather hard. He's got plenty of potions, but it's going to take some time to get it going. Meanwhile, Iker could make a beeline to Sky, get the kill, yep. get the third orb, and by the time he grinds, his grind could be faster. Oh, Duran, I, I, it's uh, that's that that's a play. It is certainly something. You could take that fighter, go get your promotion, and then run with that. Because again, you're right. IQ does not have the katana. And it is a very good katana. Red dragon over 320 health, so not super thick, but not super thin. Well, at this point, it's going to come down to time. Or one bad crit. Wild Blue D with Trance. How fun. And that's one thing about, about Black Belt Master Grinds. It's in the Chug Heal Pots a lot. Time to de-equip. One of the reasons why fantasy world grinding versus in-game grinding is less reasonable, because in the fantasy world, you, you have to make the money, and you, you can't guarantee resurrecting yourself, so you're really yep. scared. Yep. Meanwhile, it looks like the trap tile in, sky, in Mirage the Sky was a Mummy Wiz Mummy pack. Not a bad grind on early levels, but <sighs> diminishing returns happens quite quickly there. Really hoping to find the loot or the ox sale here. Yeah, the last thing they want to run into is like a crown or a herb or a herb. More fetch quests are not what is required. Defense sword would not go amiss. That would be no. in evasion stacks on the stick. Alright, Jay seems to have his punch cannon pretty much online now. That's the ox ale. That is it. That is a huge, huge thing. Now what you really want to do is find that a, that a, uh, you really want to find a red mage out in the wild, but so far we have not seen a single one. The red mage, loose, or the loot at, say, the robot, that way you don't have to dive ordeals or go down to the right side in waterfall, or in mermaids. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I would love to see them go down to, uh, to see Bubbles, that's just my own personal opinion. Personal opinion. There are air quotes as to the result of the issue with that. And that is a mute touch on the R Hydras. Mm. That's kind of annoying when you're trying to kill a pack of them. Yeah. Thor Hammer call a cast going to do absolutely nothing, but may as well just tell it to wait, which all is, it's all it needed to do. Iker done with the Arhydra, 16 across the party. Not bad. Jay, meanwhile, is down to 20, I don't know, about 19, 20 heal pots. So, once again, this, uh, ooh, that's a low row hit. A couple good experience chests for Iker, that's gonna help mm -hmm. out, but, uh, yeah, the dodginess of the Red Dragon He's you coming into play. Six, yeah, you need to land five or six good hits to get the kill. Now, once you're above that 32 threshold, when you have eight base hits, you're going to get it more often yeah. than not. You, you sh he should be fine at that point. I mean, it's just time to go stomp around. Like, nothing will stand in that master's way. 
Right, Ike, you're on the bridge of destiny. Up to the right. That's uh, questionable. And did not see the crack Ooh. on the slimes. So let's see what yep. happens. Well, he does have ribbons, so he's okay in that regard. And they didn't roll that thick. So that's not that bad. There's the crack. And, yeah, I knew he was going to take it at least the uh, the Black Wizard. Their Much M-Def crack a lack in? A Black Mage. Ah, uh, their M-Def is always garbage. Ooh, and Thunder! We didn't get that far in the script, but ooh, that's not fun. These aren't cats. They shouldn't be using Thunder. I don't know why cats had Thunder in the base game to begin with. I mean, memes. Yeah, fair enough. 31 for Jay. But heal pot's down to single digits, so... Black Belt is thirsty. And the worst thing that could happen is if the wolf or the frost wolves actually had some horrible script and a large pack comes to block yeah. Jay's exit. If they or anything like that. Hiker pulling up to Tia. Don't wait the swing, the swing, the invis, and the fast on the ninja. It wants to fast up the Masa. It's gonna be its biggest damage dealer at the moment. Punch for three hits for three damage. Swing for two hits for 134. The Fasted Masa is definitely going to be the, the go. Hold on the Black Belt. That's, That's not that fun, but it's it's nothing to worry about for the damage dealt. That 95. is to worry about. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jay has done of his grind, has moved some stuff over. So, Let's see where they go next. More hold on the master, more buffs on the Ooh. master. There goes your buff spells. Okay, Five that's better. 366, that's definitely the damage you need. More invis stacks, that's half stacked invade. Three invis casts. Running low on invis, though. Fire two instead of hold or punch. Uh, Tia's doing some damage, but uh, not the kind of damage that Tia needs to do to survive, mm. potentially. Uh -oh. oh, Tia has fast. That's, uh -oh. that's spooky. You don't like to see any fiend with fast, especially if it's Tia. I mean, Kraken and Carry do a lot of swinging too, but those heads doing the biting do a lot. Ice is nothing special. Fast doesn't do anything to make ice too harsh, and the multiple ribbons that Iker already has. There, there it you is. Go. That is Jay Shido picking up the crystals. Iker picks up the third, or the third uh, orb. Indeed. Now the problem is once again, no softs in, in Melman. This is worrisome for me. Iker is actually going to Desert Grind check. It's not the fastest encounter off the hard reset. Jay going Meanwhile, back in. Yeah, Jay wants to go to the moon. He's got two orbs. He knows that he can get the kill on it. So he's just going to take it and go to the moon. If Iker spends too much time trying to find an overall grind that's not going to be efficient, this is going to definitely put Jay in place to catch right up with the exploration advantage Iker has. True, but at the same time, my concern would be that um, Iker having three orbs lit will give him a much bigger boost to XP. Yes, it's a 15% base experience boost per orb lit. Well, you just saw that. He had Steak and Wings at 4,000 XP for, for three party members, while Jay is getting... 6,000 for one. And those Tyros, yeah, Odoron, they, they were not thick. Like, you're Iker's done. leaving. Is Iker going to... Yes, going yes. towards sea and waterfall. Now, now again, we do waterfall first. Yes, because I don't know where the loot is. I'm trying to find that loot right now because I don't want to end up diving all the way through sea. And to be fair, there's also the opportunity that there's a trap tile in there that you might want. This is true, and that trap tile is deep into Waterfall, but it is a safe trap tile to take. Yeah, that's right, you just walk in and out. Meanwhile, the worst in in the game. They're on a seaside property. Why is it hidden around in the back of the city, surrounded by trees? Put it right up against the river or the waterfront. What's the hint giver say? We know where the moss is, thank you. We already have it. We appreciate your help. Sadly, it's not a hint about a katana plus two in, in Dwarf Armory. Or at this point, where's the loot? That'd be my big thing. The only positive is if we go down here and find a crown or, a, or the herb, there might be a recruit waiting for us. And it might be the Red Mage. That is very true. Getting the recruit to get the final go item. You can ditch... 
whichever caster you don't want, or you could say, hey, I'll give up the the ninja for a red mage and then find the grind for the punch cannon. True, go, true. Go rainbow, which is what Jay Scheidel's party is saying he wants to do. Well, I, I mean... Was it Iker's party that has the, the ninja host named the red wizard? And uh, he, Iker has the has that. And there's the loot. It does not matter. Ikir finds the last item. He Exit, is ready to save and go. We are not going to see Waterfall. Waterfall at this point is going to be an item that leads us to either the white shirt or the defense sword. Now, to be fair, that defense sword would not be something that I would say no to. But I'm not going to go begging for it. Yes, likewise, the white shirt, in my opinion, would be a nice thing to see. Invis 2 casts for free. And you've Absolutely. seen how fast those Invis 2 casts go if you're only evasion stacks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As Jay is continuing the grind, Ikor is down into the Kraken dive. 41, he's got one more level before he hits, the, before he hits his next cap line. can find these red dragons or find the eye tile like a quick check in Toph locked and finding the eye there for instance would be Ooh, huge immediate catch up meanwhile, meanwhile we see <laughs> spiders say no all of them I don't blame Spidey sense just tingled so much that oh. they jumped out of the atmosphere oh I wouldn't go near that if I was them that's a punch cannon and a half Four hits for 500, that Masa and that ninja's hands with the plus 20 strength, you have to Ooh. remember that. Yeah, it's a huge advantage. And there's the Womp Womp Rod for Jay Shido. Mud goals in Sharknado with Rub. Okay, yeah, you got two ribbons and a pro ring, but you don't really want to take this fight, even if they're mm -hmm. thin. No, it's not worth it. A 3 and 256 does happen, we've all been there. Gonna take the fight and get the kill on him, get the experience, 2600 for the party, but definitely not gonna keep taking that fight. No, that's a one and done. Jay rearranging his party. I am shop, there you go. Giant Iguanas, another part. I you know that's the mud goals. Yeah, you know that's not one you wanna fight, but that's, I mean, you can. Now, Jay has finally found a store that sells soft potions. I mean, he needed them when he needed them, and now he needs them, and... Oh wow, his ninja has one whole charge of magic. Yep, doing good. And we're going to ice. Good. It was the proximity play, it leads to the cube, which gets into the sky, which leads into the whole chain of succession. Yep, because it because that is the next play you have to make. What's, what's on Sharknado? Nope. Bane Sword. Not bad. The late, but not bad. Sadly, it's not Brack Sword, but I think we already have a Brack, and I don't think we'll be seeing Brack strats unless it's just straight meme. Oh, I mean, I know personally I would do it just for the straight meme. We're freezing some lobsters gets the job done. Ghosts. Never want to see ghosts. Ooh, that's why. They hit like a brick and they're not affected by absorb. They are not. Jay Shadow gets his cube. Exits out and away we go. Yeah, we're gonna As go. Jay goes for the bottle turn in. Icor makes it on to Kraken's floor. I will admit, Icor's speed is mind blowing. We are 40 minutes in on the final Fiend Orb. Final Fiend Orb in go mode, and we know where some grinds are. Icor didn't check the Hall of Giants, I don't believe. No. But there are a few quick places Iker can check. He knows he doesn't have to do ordeals or waterfall. That's mm -hmm. two dives that have been completely skipped. Here we go with the old Kraken. 
casting on the black belt, not on the ninja. It goes with the invis and the swing. Now, the master doesn't have the levels for the punch at this point. Three hits for 75. And doesn't matter, he's unconscious. Yeah, oh, he, he, he did the... He did do it on the master. Yep, unfortunately, that's a wasted turn, but hopefully the master or the ninja doesn't take a hit, because nine hits 600. That, no, master... Or, wow. That, that is the, hit. Ooh. The life... You go with harm. Just gonna go with damage. Doesn't want to try and waste time healing. Just wants to get the hit damage yep. done because that big mo or hit with the masa definitely took most of harm. his life away. A harm killed it. It's not a meme. It's a functional damage spell in these flags. It is now. But that's Iker with all four orbs lit. If Iker finds a grind, he'll be getting twice the experience gain or gain bonus. Yes, a single red D is going to be worth over 8,000 experience. Yeah, that's going to be right huge. There. Oh, Iker's going to go and find the uh, bad eye and something else in here. Yeah, with waters. Ah. Uh, yeah, the, the, the wrong eye, he's just going to see that and be like, nope. Ooh, Ooh, giants with giants. frost. Uh, and the waters get the, uh, the primitive attack. Okay, we're gonna try. Are we turning in the adamant? I mean, it could be the crown, it could be the herb, it could be the defense sword, or the white shirt. It's, it's the, the crown. crown. Proxy, uh, nope, he says yeah. nope. Okay, it literally has to turn into the white shirt, the herb, or the, def or the defense sword. Yep. Yeah. So, the, are we gonna check the tiles in Temple of Fiends? Is yep. it the is it the eye? Fingers crossed it's the eye. Nope. It's the default. It's vanilla. <laughs> it's the gargoyles. Alright, so Next if you're right here. Proximity play is Earth. I mean Earth is a good proximity play. It is. He also knows what's on the blue D tile. Mm -hmm. Is he going north quadrant? Yeah. I think that's where he found the stake and wings. I think it is. But I think it's a bit of a jaunt. That's not, not far it. Ankylos. Oh, he's trying to kill oh. his party off. Well, this will do it. Our Ankylos will do the job. Don't you worry about that. Nobody likes our Ankylos. Jay doing some rearranging. The white samurai. I mean, the white wizard is down, so. But this will allow Jay Shidel some time to catch up. There's the eye. There was an eye. They don't last long. Oh lord, Iker down to the oh. white wizard, gonna life two up the night or the black belt. Oh boy, this is the problem with our Ranquios. They are very unfun. But he makes it out. I'm gonna say, Papa, save, please. Iker, please go somewhere else. You could lose so much time here. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a long run to get something. Meanwhile, Jay Shadow on the Bridge of Destiny. That's not a Warmac. That's nachos. Soggy nachos. Ah. Well, T is not gonna really be long for this world. The fast thing on turn order. Not long for this world. Bye, Tia. Yeah, 19 hits. You're you're gone. Meanwhile, wipe for Iker on the R Ankleos. Please reconsider yeah, going elsewhere. Yeah, at this point, you might want to check the other areas. Yep. Yeah, the ice the ice tiles were available. Order, I know, that is a bit of a shock. Sandworms, on the other hand, that's not bad. No, uh, Iker did not check all of giants. If, the, if Iker did, then we have forgotten. No, I don't. I I agree with you, uh, baby. I do not believe that he did. Jay, are you going to the inn? Why are you going to the inn? You have houses. So it looks like Maybe T Rose. It's scenic. <laughs> well, it's got a beautiful fountain. 
So we got T Rose and you should gotta check the hand giver. Did you know the Mazda too you are, that you already have in your inventory is somewhere? Now does Jay go down and check mermaids? Yes he does. This is gonna be no more for Jay once he has that loot and with the yep. black belt in tow will make short work of Kraken. Mm-hmm. Uh, Odoran, he's not, he won't. I can guarantee you for at least two reasons. One, Bubbles is out of the way. Two, Jay does not support my campaign of always carbonation. And to be fair, Ike is also on team the new Bubbles Sotico and did not carbonate, but I do not blame him! As, again, Bubbles is a bit out of the way. And Jay probably doesn't want to open any other chest if he doesn't have to. Ike here does have the white wizard down to an E. And down. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. There's the black out in the solo grind for Ike here now as Jay is walking out. Doesn't want to use eggs or warp for some reason. That I'm confused about. You, the, the white mage with the double warp cast. I just go bam bam and be out. Oh, when did Jay get a mass or get a, ma a fighter? Jay has a fighter. Yeah, Jay doesn't have the white mage anymore. Jay has a fighter. So he does. Ah, I picked it in the fame for the oxy ale. That makes sense. Ah, that explains not having to go out of his way to get it in Sky. Yep. Then you get the Oxyar right afterwards. Yeah. I'm sure he's really pleased about that. We'll have to ask him about that at the, at the end of the interview. Meanwhile, Ike here, though, is quickly pushing his levels. 28 already, and we've only just started the grind. This will show you the true difference that those orbs can make. But with Jay not stopping for anything and anyone. Yeah, 1,600 experience, or 16,000 experience for two, two worms. But Great. in the time it takes him to walk between these encounters, Jay Scheidel was able to take two or three dragons. Yep. The only difference is that Jay only had two orbs at the time. So this is, this is quickly snowballing for Ike here. I don't expect Kraken to put up much of a fight, if any. Well, bye, fighter. Bye, Kraken. The Blade of Meat Shield does a Blade of Meat Shield things, and the White Mages stay. It takes the hit. Okay, so we're gonna bring back our party members, stock up, and head out. All things considered, this has been an incredibly fast seed for both very, of our runners. Very much so, and very close. Much closer than, than you would think. This is still anybody's game at this point. Maybe Although, Garland won't be the only one with crack. Mm. Oh wait, we already saw Metal Slime set crack. Um, maybe nuke, other big nuker. things will happen. Yeah, Nuke and Nuclear, I haven't seen any of those. Cure 4 is still out there. Ike here, meanwhile. Oh, are we gonna get? We're gonna get very close to having dual Temple of Fiends going on. Is Ikor just gonna res up and go in with level thirty-two? I mean, at this point, I wouldn't blame him. He can no. toe grind. Yeah, I think he's going to. Jay Shidel at forty-six, thirty-five is forty-nine, thirty-five is in Temple of Fiends revisited, making his dive. What chaotic encounters will he deal with going in? There's a seven pack of bad men. Does he get away? Do they have nuke? No, he gets away. We don't know what they have. It's always a guess which enemy has the has the nuke script. Mummy whiz, only pack. I cure meanwhile, right behind. Yes, Phoenix, the map derp is on. Now it's just going to be about Encounter Table and how bad it is. 
Ooh! There's Brack. And Cremate, just for a bit measure. This time he hit us off, though. Learned his lesson. He did. One Blades more for of a blade of meat shield. They get, they won't go after the stone. Oh, we're checking we're checking the validation chests. Nothing worth your time. Sadly, no second katana. Or ribbon. The Jotunheim pack for Iker as the Germaduses show themselves on the Earth floor. With, With mute touch. Mute touch. Not a huge problem. I mean, I don't think anything, barring a really bad crack and two fight, is going to really hurt. Because remember, no lich. But true. But remember, we don't have any healing magic at all anymore. It's gone. We dropped the white wizard, so we have no life. We have no cure. A bad turn order could really put Jay Shardell back. Because Ikir is not that far behind, already on the Earth floor. Yep, and with life magic, if mm -hmm. Jay Shadow loses some bodies and can't make it through, but Iker has the chance to pick him up. Big punch cannon Ooh. versus utility. There goes one. Three met three or two more he can shed. And remember, when there's an empty slot, the fiend re-rolls. All enemies will fix to find the next target. And this is not the pack you want to see. Obi gets away. That ninja doing its job with its luck. Here we go. We're gonna walk in. Nope. We're getting another seafood party plaque. Poison touch. Meanwhile, Lich on IQ screen survives around. Oh, the black belt, but we'll probably isn't gonna be long. No, gone. All right, crack him. What do you got? Bye bye, black. No more fast casts. No more temper. Uh oh. Quad X. Ah, we don't care about that. We're five HP above the value that we need to be. All right, Jay Shadow's through, but he's two manning it. He does start... have fast casts, I believe, on that ninja, but that's still. Yeah. One ablative body to go. Yep. And you have nothing to cast Ruse. You know. He also has a silver bracelet on that bla on that master, I just realized. Oh, d oh uh, he better not. Come on, Jay. Yes, he son, I will be in the saw same boat. a silver bracelet equipped to it, so it does not have the native absorb. Rub is nothing. Rub doesn't matter. Fast does. Ooh, that's a big hit. Tia. Tia. The three, we don't care. And that'll be the end of Tia, too. Okay, Chaos. Now, the one thing that you don't want to see is slow, too. Because that's a burn fast cast and a wasted turn. But here we go. Gonna do some quick healing. Movement. Okay, he's trying for RNG strats. We're gonna fast, and we're gonna fight. Gets the turn order for fast. Gets the punch on the chaos. That's a big hit. Tap coming out, nobody cares. Big hit again. Terminated GG's out in chat for Jay Scheidel at 5408. He has done it. On a, on a wing and a prayer, Jay Scheidel has dropped the white wizard, took all the heal magic out. And we get to ask him about it now. Jay? GG's. Hiya. You dropped the white wizard for the yep. fighter for the oxy ale, we assume. And then found it about two minutes later. Yep. And then ended up in Temple of Fiends with no healing magic. Were you kinda uh, a little worried about that? Black belt go burr. No need <laughs> no need heal. Just Gotta ask if you could potentially, if you still have it up, can you check to see that you have a the silver uh, bracelet was on the fighter? Oh, I miss it. Okay, good. We yeah, were yeah, worried. I, you were like, I, I, I heard you say it, it while lurking here, and I went, no, what, what, what? So yeah, I reset and double checked. It was on the fighter. Better, I but was since wrong. I had, since I had changed party order around after that one, I think you yeah. saw because I I healed up. I changed party order around. And then I went in to move the ribbon and stuff. So I think it was in the second spot. 
would make sense. That would make sense. So, how do you feel? Another another seed Oof. down, another black belt seed. Everyone loves them. Yeah, can I have the a big, fighter again, please? The big thing there is that you went to Dwarves Armory early and picked <laughs> up that katana and that Vorpal while Ikear did not. And you took the early grind in Earth as Earth was something that I, that uh, Ikear had skipped over. Yeah, it was get the two orbs lit, get a grind in. I hadn't found anything else decent. And I knew where Chime was, but I had no clue about Cube or Oxy. So it's like, okay, I'm definitely grabbing a fighter if I see him, and I might just do the party <laughs> shuffle. It's like, okay, I'm going to do a fighter, where's my red mage so I can get the loot if I have to, and then it's just a cube hunt. I you're pulling up to Chaos as well. I mean, Chaos didn't really have a whole lot of anything. Punchy, but nothing horrible. And no defense. So it was like 1,500 was just a yeah. fast. Yeah, you were... You were beating him into submission quite quickly. And you're set to face I, the winner of Budge. Don't remind and me. Don't remind how, do, me. How, do you, how do you feel about that? Uh, if I leave this conversation, can I come back? Oh. <laughs> you can come back, but it's not going to change the fact that you're going to have to fight either Pickles or Budge. I have been terrified this entire tournament, and that just does not help. <laughs> mm, well. Says the man who just finished the seed in barely over 54 minutes. Oh, that was it. I mean, I'm sure getting the floater early was a very happy moment for you. Being in the air in like ten and a half minutes was really interesting. Which is funny because you were two minutes behind hike here. <laughs> of course I was. There's but... a few other little things I know I did. But there it yeah. is. Get your GGs out for Ikear, who has taken chaos out. Yeah, that was uh, it was a jetty seed if I've ever seen one. Although to be fair, you did run into a lot of problems in Merce with werewolves. Uh, poison? Anyone? Poison? Yeah. Speaking of this, we are joined by Ikear. Ikear, GGs. GGs. GG Chanel. Yeah, GGs. That was fun. Fun seed, fast seed. Fast. Uh, so fast uh, well, seed, fast heart rate. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's go over a few things that, that that some of the divergences that we had. Like I said, Jay, you went into Dwarf Armory, instantly got yourself a Katana plus two, and a Vorpal. Mm -hmm. um, I hear those out there. I feel really bad. Uh, and <laughs> the and the big change was the difference in grinds. And also, Jay Shidel hit a lot of bad RNG. Jay Shidel saw the slot, the slimes of crack, oh. the slimes poison. that cracked everyone but the White Mage, poison the every flipping where. Put the poison damage, then the stone poison, and then of, and then of course the the biggest change was Jay Shidel dropping his white wizard for a fighter to get the oxyol, then find the oxyol not three minutes later. Yep, I was happy when I found it later. I'm like, ooh, I dodged the fighter. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I I know I need it anyway. I'm gonna grab it. That gives me two more spaces that the loot could be in, and then yeah. Yeah, the loot, the loot in C was the was the big one. We were wondering if anyone would go looking for a red mage, but we didn't see one. Did we find a, a hint that it was in C, or did we just clear everything no. else? No, there was no hints no. that I saw. Oh, no, I okay. skipped a lot of stuff, like ordeals and... I, yeah, yeah, I didn't go waterfall. into ordeals, I didn't go into waterfall. Nobody went to ordeals, nobody went to waterfall. Um, Jay, you skipped over everything except to think the f incentive in the first free chest in Volcano. You're just like, you yeah, know, I'm done, I'm just walking down. Yeah, well, and that was only because uh, I was checking a grind tile. If that was anything better than those red D's, that was the that was yep. the tile. Yeah, yep. the red the red D was a good tile. I mean, a bit scary for a while because you know your black belt wasn't uh, your master wasn't up to snuff. Well, it was still punching for a hundred and something even after I was at thirty two. Yep, it was it was hitting heavy, was hitting heavy. But I was starting to miss a lot more. Left to go grab a few more bottles and then came back. And couldn't find soft potions to save your life. <laughs> I was hoping to have some to get the white mage back up to exit out. I just that, couldn't find softs. Now that is a question that I do have for you. What was the thought process behind not using the two charges of warp that the white mage had when you were in mermaids to just bounce, bounce? He, he had already gotten the black. I, I had a fighter. Fighter at that point. Oh, that's right. You would just you would abandon it. Yeah, because my my strat was going to be to just reset out whenever that was the white shirt or something. I'm like, I'm going to go down. It's going to be something stupid. Here we go. Oh, oh, I got to walk back. Yep, you got to walk back now. You're kind of stuck with it. Yes, we were wondering why you didn't do that. And then it became ever clear when Thavium pointed out, when did Jay Shadow get a fighter? It's like, <laughs> oh, what did he do? I wanted the Oxy Ale. 
I was gonna three man this thing. The white mage was just nice. Well, early on, because Nuke was just not available. Having fast early was very good. And having fast early, early harm three early, yeah. Yeah, because no one For else. Reference: did... Nuke was at eight along with warp. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, not yet that. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, nobody really needed to see that. But I gotta say, I mean, Ike, you're at the uh, the grind to try to find your black belt. Eventually, finding those uh, the sandworms and that stake and wings was a you were you were powering through levels very quickly. Yeah, I was only intending to go to 32, and I did take a walking grind in C to get my black belt up to 21, so that he would be able to like just be online and start punching things. We did notice that you were taking on uh, ghosts, and it's like, uh, he's doing that for a reason, because no one fights ghosts unless they have to. Yeah, <laughs> the they're, they're decent XP, and yeah, getting 21. That was the reason. That makes perfect sense. Then, yeah, the grind was a piece of cake once I found it. It just I had to find it. Yeah, yeah. you uh, well, you uh, and Jay I about the fire dragons. You yeah. and Jay went to a lot of the same places. You uh, no one checked ice. Uh, it was just in and out real quick. But yeah, you both yeah. checked. The reason. Yeah, uh, I think Jay. I, I know you checked the uh, the temple of fiends and found the beautiful the gargoyles. Did I check? Okay, okay. I can remember. I think I stopped there. No, when have you? Uh, yes, Ike, you, you stopped there. I when stopped there on my way up to desert. Yeah. So I'm like, where are the quick grind tiles to check? Uh, Northwest Castle and Toper, and then go. Yeah, no, yeah Northwest yeah. Castle was a bust. Yeah, I flew over eye. to Northwest Castle just to see, saw the wrong eye, and then like, nope, back to the back to the Red Dees. Yeah, the wrong eye and the water pack, which is not great. No one really wants to grind on waters. They're just no. Too, Beats too the weird. Wiz mummies that I've used the last two days. Which is funny because that that tile was found. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was great to see the metal slimes at first. Like, oh, great, there's a good grind. Crack. Oh, right. thunder. They had thunder afterwards, so no, not good. I'm like, I'm going to use this to get my party up to like 15. You know, just, just make sure I start getting charges and you know, get out. Get out. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Not worth it at all. Not worth it at all. But overall, that was a, has a lightning quick jet seed, early floater. Really, really, real clean, good routing. Excellent. Very fun to watch. Davian, anything you want to ask the runners? Uh, GG's. Uh, question. Was this more Oslado or more me? Because there was some good alternate, <laughs> like, interesting, like the crack on Garland, the crack on the Metal Slime, but there was also a lot of wolves with weird stuff. Wolves had stuff. This was Oslado all the way. It wasn't bad. I'd be able to secure four there. Because <laughs> there's not anywhere else then. True. That's very true. Never saw Nuke on anything, which is kind of womp womp. And none of the yeah, fiends really did anything. Yeah, I mean, Kra so Kraken just World. told Jay Scheidel's you know, casters, take a nap. <laughs> just take a nap. But you, you get the rest of the day off. Here you go, bye. Mm, pretty much. Why is yes, there I a white fast. That's all you need it. Should be. I'll kill the fighter instead. Boom. Yeah. Why is there another white mage here? What, what's going on? Oh, wow, this thing is dead anyways. It pretty much. Well, Although I was worried, though, because, I mean, if Kraken would have gotten a really good critical hit through, that could have been a whole different ball game. Uh, speed and power. Sure. Speed and power, indeed. But remember, Budge and, Budge and Pickles are next. Speed and power. I gotta good keep luck. going. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, I think we shall move on to final thoughts. Mr. J. Scheidel, what are your final thoughts going out of this and heading on to the next round? <sighs> GG's. GG's to everyone. You know, I care for playing. You guys for putting this on. Speed Gaming for putting on this entire event. Just thank you, everyone. Some awesome. Ike here, unfortunately, I believe this is the uh, the end of your Speed Gaming Live run, but uh, GG's, great tournament. What are your final thoughts? Yeah, it's like my one win that I got here. Um, but yeah, thanks for the commentary, thanks for the tracking and the restream, Speed Gaming. And I always get freaked out about uh, some eight minute in the sky floater. <laughs> that, it's like, I can go everywhere. Where do I go? It, it can be daunting, that's for sure. Yep. All right. Davian Hawk, my co-coms, what are your final thoughts, my friend? It's always nice to see some early in, or early access to the seas, early access to sky, simply because it inspires divergence, and man, did you guys go 
so many places and yet come so close to being so similar in state. Um, GG's, guys. Uh, Jay, good luck. Iker, <laughs> thanks. You're, you're welcome to join us in the crew. Talk about other people <laughs> racing. <laughs> Will do. All right. And with that, I would like to give a big thank you to Speed Gaming for hosting us tonight. For all you wonderful viewers who decide to stick around and watch this fantastic jet seat. To both of our runners, to Mr. J. Shidell and Ike, you're good to have you guys in. Excellent, uh, excellent show you put on. Very entertaining. If anyone out there has watched this and thinks, hey, can I do that? You absolutely can. Head on over to FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. There you will find everything you will need from the randomizer a link to our wiki a link to our discord you can join up take the duckling role we will teach you how to run this game we have a great beginners program fantastic uh i can say that pretty much everyone on the stream has either in it or been through it so it's mm -hmm. it's a great way to learn how to play the game you can hang out with us you can uh, run some fun seeds really enjoy yourself it, it should be a great time i want to thank Mecklin for doing the tracking behind the scenes, keeping us all on. Thank you, Thavy, and for once again joining me in the booth. Always a good time when you are here. And with that, I will say I have been your host with the most from the coast, Oslodo, and I will see you in the next round. <laughs>